Welcome back everyone. The purpose of this lecture is to explain derivatives and gradients. But we will start from the very basics. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. Imagine we have a car and its speed from the beginning till the end is 1000 meters per 60 seconds. And its rate of change is the same. Is the real life case. Not of course. Car starts slowly and then increases its speed and coming to the end again decreases. That's the real life case. So, if someone asks you what are the differences in the rate of change at points A and B, what would you say? How would you compare them? It's obvious that at point B the rate of change is higher than at point A, but how to read easily with visualization? We can draw tangent lines to these points and the steeper the slope, the more rate of change the car's speed has at that point in time. So, we can consider the rate of change also as the slope, or better to say, steepness of the slope. We can conclude now the rate of change is higher at point B than at point A. Let's make some simple calculations in order to see exactly how the rate of change is calculated with math. So, let's take a simple function where s equals t squared. You can remember them as speed and time for simplicity. On the right side you are given a formula with the help of which we can calculate the rate of change at a certain point. So, in order to calculate the rate of change at point 5, we can step forward for one unit. Afterwards, we will decrease our step little by little and calculate the rate of change at each step. So, if step is one unit, delta t equals 6 minus 5, which equals 1 and delta s equals 6 squared minus 5 squared which equals 11. Then the rate of change equals 11 divided by 1. You can pause the video and look through again. If you look at the logical continuation of our graph and of the table, you will notice that we decrease our step, delta t approaches 0 and the rate of change at point 5 aims at 10. So, we can say that at point 5, the instantaneous rate of change equals 10. Don't worry if you don't understand for now. It will be clear in the next lectures. That's all for now. See you in the next lecture.